Are you a foodie and want to host a destination wedding? It seems like everybody is these days. Let's talk about that a little bit more. Hi, I'm Jack with Vacation Ease. Do me a favor and subscribe. It helps the algorithm supposedly with YouTube. Anyway, all I hear from people when I'm talking to clients about helping them pick a destination or a resort is everybody's a foodie today. I'm not really sure what that means, but here's my definition of a foodie. It's someone that likes really good food, unique ingredients, and a lot of different ingredients or a lot of different cuisines. So people have asked me, hey Jack, are there any foodie resorts in the Caribbean and Mexico? And my simple answer is yes, many. But here are a couple of my top or my favorite resorts. I'll give you a little summary. But there's always resorts that are changing, and I'm sure that either we or your planner that you're working with can find you a resort, as long as you're upfront and explain to them what you mean as a foodie. And again, think about this, they're gonna be some of the more expensive resorts. So let's look at Mexico, because I think mean, that's where you're gonna find the most resorts. So in Cabo, a um, couple of my favorite foodie resorts, my number one, no question, is La Blanc Los Cabo. It is an adults-only resort. You can also look at Gran Vilas in Los Cabo. Again, when I talk about foodie there, you probably have five to six, seven different restaurants to choose from, top quality ingredients, beautiful plating, and amazing service. And the other thing is, at each of these resorts, the chefs will do whatever they need to to customize to your needs. Let's look at Riviera Maya Cancun, where I think you really have a lot of great resorts. A few of my favorite resorts there for foodies, the Grand at the Moon Palace, great for families. Again, common theme with most of these fruity resorts, they're gonna be on the expensive side compared to some of the other resorts you may look at. The Grand at the Moon probably has 15 different restaurants for you to choose from French, Lebanese, Italian, three different Mexican restaurants, um, two different steakhouses. But if you talk about being a foodie, the plating is beautiful. The ingredients are very good. Amazing Asian with beautiful sushi um, and room service. Adults only, I think my favorite resort there would probably be um, LeBlanc Cancun, recurrent theme with the LeBlancs. It's a five diamond triple A resort, five or six restaurants. I've probably stayed there, I don't know, 10 times in the past couple of years. It's my go-to place. You really feel like when you're there, the food is as good as food at any foodie restaurant in any big city in the United States. Now, another place I think that's a great opportunity for foodies would be the combination of Generations Riviera Maya and El Dorado Royale and El Dorado Casitas. Generations, family friendly, the El Dorado is adults only. There are probably 12 restaurants to choose from, two Italian, an Indian restaurant, two different Asian restaurants, but again, the plating when you're in these restaurants is beautiful. Um, the benefit of any of these foodie resorts, while the restaurants are amazing for you and your guests dining out, they will carry the theme over for your private events. So you're not stuck just with chicken and salmon, that as you work with the culinary team and the planners at the resort, you can look at what they're serving in some of the restaurants and really customize to your heart's content. Another resort that I think is a good foodie resort there is Zoetry Paris de la Bonita. Um, it's a smaller resort. I've done a video on it. There's only three restaurants, but the experience at each of them is truly a great foodie experience. Um, and then if you're staying in the impression section, there's two additional dining opportunities there. Now, as we look other places in Riviera Maya Cancun, I think that you have places like Secrets Maroma that also has a great foodie experience. Secrets Mokche is getting there, and they have an impression section within Mokche, which I think upgrades it a little bit in the two or three restaurants there. But as you look at these foodie resorts or foodie opportunities, I do think there is always new places. There's also the Grand Vilas, and there's also the Andaz and the Fairmont Mayacoba, which are not all inclusive resorts, but are definitely foodie resorts. Okay, so let's think about other places you're looking. Now, just overall, I would say that if you wanna look in Jamaica, um, I think most of the restaurants in the various resorts are good. Can I say that there's really a great foodie resort in Jamaica? I don't think so. Um, I would say um, Sandals Ocho Rios, 
has a vast variety of restaurants. Many of them are very good. Um, I, I guess you can call it foodie. It's, um, I just think that it's, it's probably one of the better options in Jamaica for a foodie resort. Um, other than that, I think most of the resorts in Jamaica are good. The Moon Palace in Jamaica, I think, is fairly good. Um, would it say it's foodie? I think they have a lot of options, but I wouldn't say that it just blows you away in terms of the culinary preparation and everything compared to, say, a LeBlanc or any of the places that Palace also owns in other destinations. So I think as you look around the Caribbean and Mexico, there's a lot of places. I think that things are always changing because every resort is trying to really increase their game and everybody wants to talk about gourmet. Um, the Charisma Resorts, I would say in Punta Cana, the Charisma Resort there, which is the Margaritaville, is getting there. Um, they call themselves gourmet inclusive. Um, and then Secrets Capcana, I think does a good job. So I think when you also look at Punta Cana, you can look at the Zoetry, Punta Agua. Um, it's a, not an adults only, it's a very boutique hotel. They have three restaurants, but I think they are really what I would classify for the DR, um, a foodie resort. And then Casa de Campo um, is really getting up there. Again, they do have an all-inclusive plan. It is not known as an all-inclusive resort. So I think there are other resorts that I like in some of these places that are great for food. But I think that when you work with your travel planner, whether it's us or somebody else, and you perceive you and your guests are foodies, I think you really want to have a conversation of it is, what type of cuisine are you looking for, um, for both to dine around the resort? Because periodically we'll get someone that says, well, my family's from Peru or my family's from China. We need sushi. We have vegans. We have vegetarians. We have Indian folks. So I think you want to have that conversation with your planner. So when you pick that host resort, it is the perfect resort for you in terms of the culinary experience and hopefully is what you call a foodie resort and everybody enjoys their stay at the host resort you pick. Hopefully this information is helpful. Feel free to reach out to me. And again, I'm Jack with Vacation Ease.